Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit this portrait step by step using my actions. So first thing first, this portrait needs to be clean. So let's just go click on clean and click play. After we do that, as you can see, we have two different layers. One of them is clean and one is a black and white health layer. The clean uh, layer helps us to clean this portrait from anything we want to clean. So for cleaning, I'm going to use spot healing brush, healing brush tool and patch tool. So I'm just going to start with spot healing brush. And as you can see, this portrait has some messy here because all the light that is, that is hitting the model from behind. So I'm just going to clean this here. And I'm going to do this in the other side, as you can see. Uh, this is not necessary to do, so if you want to leave that here as original as they are, you can leave them, so don't worry about that. I'm just going to clean the hair here up the forehead because I think that it will look better if I clean this. So I'm just going to go and clean this. Uh, this portrait is looking good by the way uh, you can find the free file in my telegram channel uh, link in the description also you can find the retouching action that i'm using right now they're also in the description so if you want to follow my step by step of this video tutorial uh, you can re-download this raw file and start following my steps from the beginning to finish I just clean also the chest area, also the neck. If we have something to clean, I guess there is nothing. We are just gonna use uh, frequency separation and dodge and burn for this portrait. And for example, if you wanna remove this part uh, that here, uh, I will do this by creating a section selection. Sorry, with a pen tool. As you can see, it's pen tool here, and creating a nice selection here right click and make selection I, for feather radius i'm gonna use three and with a clone stamp tool i'm just with a 100 percent opposite and 100 percent flow i'm just gonna copy here and paste it here uh, you should do this by copy paste as near as possible because we don't want to create some bad texture in the portrait let's just check before and after and yeah, I think it's looking good for the moment. And I'm just gonna go liquefy this part of the head. So go to filter and click liquefy. After I do that, I use a forward warp tool and I will make this a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna liquefy this part of the head and I will make it look even better. Not that this portrait is not looking good, but for my opinion, I'm just gonna give only a little touch here on the hair. Uh, as I said before, uh, if the things uh, doesn't seem necessary for you, you can leave them and skip to the part where, where we are finished with liquify. Let's just check before and after. And as you can see, it's a better shape now. And I think that I'm just going to clean this from the background and this one too. For the moment, I'm using patch tool. I'm just creating some selection and dragging them right here and cleaning the background. Let's just check before and after. And I think it's looking good. Now it's time for the forehead or the face I'm just gonna use clone warp to, uh, sorry clone warp tool I'm using patch tool for cleaning some on the face sorry now I, I will switch on the spot healing brush for a faster workflow so don't worry about that you can switch between the tools as much as you want uh, for, for example, in this part, I'm going to use healing brush, so I'm just going to 
hold alt for copy here and start pasting here until we clean this part uh, don't forget that you have to copy paste the texture as near as possible because we don't want to create some bad texture for example if we copy here and we paste here as you can see we have some troubles in our portrait so we are here for retouching as good as possible and we don't want to create that incredible bad style i don't know what to say because we are here only for good retouch and i don't want to learn you guys i don't want to teach you uh, the bad side of retouching so uh, keep tracking my steps here because you don't want to lose anything that i'm doing right now and i think that we are done with cleaning let's just check before and after and i think that it's good enough let's just delete this black my tail player and merge clean and background click uh, control keyboard click here and merge layers into one check before and after as you can see now it's time for frequency separation so go to frequency separation and click play after you do that it's shown a Gaussian blur radius as you can see uh, we have to slide this to 0 0.1 and zoom in into the texture of the portrait and sliding right until uh, you see that wrinkles and texture totally disappeared because we want to leave that for the texture or the high frequency let's just check uh, I think that 8 would be good so let's just check open the group as you can see after we have clicked on frequency separation plus we have two different uh, layers one is low frequency which means is the skin color and the high frequency is the texture so I'm just gonna turn off the texture because I will work on that later and for the moment I'm just gonna work on low frequency or on the skin so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and as you can see we have something to clean here if we want to clean for example and let's just create a selection here and clean this also for the this part and this one we are gonna use a mixer brush let's just clean this first this part of the chest because it's showing on the skin color and if we do this right now in the color I think that this will not be shown on the texture as you can see it was only on the color or in the low frequency and I think that now it's time for mixer brush so I'm just gonna go to mixer brush and for the vet I go by 10 for the load by 25 for mix I go by 35 to 50 something like that for the flow I go by 30 and we're gonna start mixing the skin tones let's just mix them and for this part I think that I will uh, remove this shadows under the eyes because of the highlight that is hit hitting the model and for retouching I'm using Wacom Intools Pro I highly recommend you guys to get one if you are into retouching for good because we can do this with mice or mouse but uh, you will not get results as good as with a Wacom Intools or a Pro, ta uh, Pro Pen tablet I don't know there are a bunch of them out there so but, but for my opinion I would highly suggest you guys go get a Wacom because they are really really good for a touch and they will make your workflow like 10, 10 times faster because in my beginnings I used to work with the mice and when I switched to Wacom in tools my workflow was really 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 better so go get one if you have uh, the budget if you don't keep the mouse but if you have uh, i mean like if you're working if you're intends to work as a retoucher and you wanna 
start working like part-time job or a full-time job as a retoucher and you still uh, don't have one uh, go watch some video tutorials about them so you will uh, find the best features of the welcoming tools it's not that they are paying me for talking about their products it's just my single opinion so don't forget this and as you can see we are uh, mixing the skin tones let's just check before and after zoom out uh, do this every time when you use a mixer brush in the high frequency uh, sorry in the frequency separation in the low layer because we don't want to make some bad uh, skin tones here and there and i think that we are done with the low frequency now it's time for the high frequency or the texture so i'm just gonna use clone stamp tool with a 100 percent opacity and 100 percent flow and with the alt keyboard i'm just gonna copy paste here in the texture you have to work uh, closely with this uh, clone stamp tool because the texture that we have uh, on the skin of the portrait is very similar for example you have to copy here and paste it here and not copy on the here and paste it for example uh, on the skin because as you can see we have some bad texture and we don't want to do that as you can see we have just done this and be careful when you do this because uh, the portrait will look not that good or you will destroy it totally so you will not know the where is the problem so be careful when you work on the texture uh, recently i made a new uh, retouching action as you can see it's a makeup artist retouching actions by me and link is in the description don't forget to check all the links i put down below because they are there or something they are for a reason and they are just they aren't just like for nothing so if you want to learn how to retouch step by step just like me you have to get these actions and start following my steps let's just check before and after or the high freak of frequency separation and i think it's looking really good for the moment it's not that we have destroyed anything and I'm just gonna merge the frequency separation with the background, right click and merge layers. Uh, don't forget uh, this to check every time uh, the original file and the background because we are working here. And now it's time for soft smooth skin. I'm just gonna click play. Uh, be careful when you work with this uh, action the soft smooth skin because it works only with the one layer which is the background for example if we have two layers like this or we have another layer uh, this soft skin smooth uh, action will not work as good as it is so be careful that you only have a background here and for the flow i'm just gonna go by 100 and start painting on the face as you can see this one is uh, too much soft skin uh, it's moving really really much but i'm just gonna do this on the on the face on the skin and i will reduce the opacity of this by 25 i would say or something like that because we don't want to destroy the texture totally i'm just uh, smoothing them so don't worry because you may say at this moment that this guy is not teaching us anything or what is he doing he's just destroying the portrait so don't worry i will uh, reduce the uh, the opacity of this i'm just gonna paint it over here and i think that we are done let's just zoom in and as you can see it's too smooth as i said uh, but we have to reduce this by 25 or 30 something like that let's just check before and after and i think it's looking good for the moment i'm just gonna use a black brush 
just to remove what we have done here because I don't want to make this I don't want to make the uh, nose too smooth and I think we are done with the soft skin let's just merge them again merge layers now we're gonna add some skin texture on the portrait this is a digital skin texture so use uh, brush 100 and flow 100 for the faster results because we don't wanna paint it like two times or three times on the same same part of the face so let's just work faster on this one because we wanna learn the faster workflow for a touch because we need this and as you can see it's too much but always lower this into 20 22 something like that let's just check before and after and yeah we added some nice texture don't forget to merge them too and now it's time for dodge and burn so i'm just gonna click dodge and burn click play and click on the dodge and burn check layer put this on top and this is gonna help us to dodge and burn as you can see, this is an inverted uh, layer because we want to see the details in better ways. Uh, for the dodge, we are going to work on the black parts. As you can see, this portrait looks soft, so I'm just going to go here and click on levels and slide the black into the right until we see some changes, for example, like this. And we have to close this and click on dodge first because we are going to dodge this portrait. Zoom in a little uh, for this part. We are going to dodge on the black parts, for example, here, here, as you can see. And I'm going to start with opacity by 10 and flow by uh, 25 and start painting. Oops, sorry, we have to... Uh, what I was doing, we have to work on the burn on the black parts and we have to dodge on the white parts. So I'm just going to start on the dodge on the white parts and I'm just going to paint it. As you can see, only in the white parts, for example, here. Uh, we do this by inverting and we're going to see the details for uh, dodge and burn. Uh, this is a great technique if you want to dodge and burn uh, like professionals, but if you want to keep working on the dodge and burn like all the time, you can uh, switch or uncheck this layer. Let's just check before and after of what we are doing. As you can see, we are just uh, dodging a little bit. So turn on this again and keep working on the dodge. Until we create a flat look of the portrait because uh, we want to make this as good as possible. And now it's time for the burn. For the burn, we are gonna brush or paint it here on the black parts. And as you can see, it's like making this portrait look more flat. So be careful uh, when you work on this because we don't want to destroy the highlights and shadows of this portrait and we are trying to make this portrait looking as good as possible let's just check before and after as you can see let's just zoom in here a little and we have burned the highlights a little bit and they are looking really really nice Again, turn on this black and white help player, dodge and burn help player, sorry, and keep working on the chest part because this one needs a little touch. We don't want to work only on the face because this is like something that people do out there and I personally don't like working only on the face. Uh, I keep working in 
all other parts of uh, photography for, for example if we have a full body i keep working also on the body and let's just check before and after this now it's time for the dutch so we are just gonna work here on the brighter parts uh, so keep this in mind uh, dodge works for the highlights here in inverted and the burn works for the darker parts so don't forget this because this is an inverted layer and we don't want to mess them so be careful and keep working as good as possible as I said, this is what the professionals do and as you can see we need um, much more cleaning here on the portrait. So let's just check before and after. Uh, let's just turn on the dodge, turn on the burn and as you can see it's looking really really nice. And open this burn layer and this desaturate we're gonna go by 25. Close this, now open the dodge, go to desaturate and uh, make the opacity by 25. Let's just check before and after. And I think that this is looking awesome. Now merge these layers, uh, merge them again and delete this one. Now it's time for I plus all in. This is uh, action for the eyes, click play, click smoky eyes and mascara click on play and click stop put this on top now click on the eyeshadows now click on the white teeth all these actions are for the makeup click on uh, lips and cheeks and stop now it's time for the eye plus so zoom in into the eyes with a 100% brush we are gonna work on the remove veins this one is only for the wings and it cleans them or make them a little bit blurry so as you can see this one is too much so always lower the opacity by 25 30 something like that the brightening works only for the white of the eyes no that doesn't work for the eyeball but this one is created only for the white of the eyes so be careful don't mess them up and go to eyeball lightning and this one is for the eyeball uh, don't forget to do this process in both of the eyes and always lower them because 100% is like too much now it's time for the iris contour let's just make this eyes kind of pretty look let's just check before and after zoom out because this is how we see the details in the better way and I think it's kind of too much, so I'm just gonna load this by 85, I would say. And yeah, 85 is good. Now go now go to mascara and use brush with a 10% because 100% uh, would be too much. So I'm just gonna uh, paint it here on the eyebrows, eyelashes. What I am talking about? Sorry, guys, because. On time, my English is very, very, very messed up. So I highly apologize to you uh, because my English is my secondary language, and sometimes I don't say things properly because uh, eyebrows and eyelashes. This is kind of when I mess up them. And let's just check before and after. Lower this by twenty-five or thirty-five, something like that. And I wanna ask you guys to leave some comments about my English if I'm understandable if I'm talking too fast or too slow uh, if you find my video tutorials useful or, or not uh, please don't forget to leave a comment down below about anything if you just want to ask some questions or say anything so go back to the eyes and uh, now it's time for the smoky eyes uh, this works fine for them kind of like we want to create them like a black look here over the eyes so let's just check before and after this process and yeah i think it's looking good let's just turn down this by 37 35 something like that and let's just check before and after this entire process 
yeah i think it's looking really nice now we will put this on top here and this one is eyeshadows pick a color which means that works uh for the this part we have to copy a color for example we have some kind of yellow gold uh, but i will make this more into orange i would say with a 10 percent brush i'm just gonna paint it here uh for example if if you have makeup colors uh, for example rose blue pink i don't know uh, always pick the color that is showing here or the color that you want to create uh, for example let's just um, click again and click play here on the eyeshadow click play and let's just choose for example a blue color and start painting here as you can see we are just creating some makeup eyeshadows let's just zoom out uh, it's not that it's looking uh, that bad but for example if you want to keep the originality or of the portrait or we just want to create something different we can always use a different color and start working on the eyes for example if you have the makeup that you want to put on you can always try this i'm just gonna clean because i don't like that how it looks i'm just gonna stick with the original color that is showing here as i said before and just give it a little paint not that much let's just check before and after i think it's looking good i'm just gonna add another eyeshadows here and i will choose a color between pink and uh, something kind of into yellow into red something like that uh, so I would say this one is good now start working here just a little more color I just check before and after yeah I think it's looking a little bit better and I think that we are done with the eyes now it's time for the rosy lips I'm just gonna zoom in and I will use 100% brush and start painting on the lips. This one works fine for the lips because it will create a better color of them. And as you can see, 100% is obviously too much. So I'm just gonna lower this by 20, I would say. Now add some lips, dodge and burn, click play. And this one says uh, picks. Uh, pick lips color dodge this is uh, for the dodge so I'm just gonna pick the color which is on the lips the pink as you can see this is the dodge we want to add some highlights into the lips with the color that we are using here let's just check before and after zoom out for better results if you want to see them and I think it's looking good but always lower this because 100% uh, is not that good and uh, now it's time for the burn or the shadows that we want to make on the lips so i'm just gonna create a kind of 3d look into them i just check before and after and i think that they're looking good but not that much so i'm just gonna lower this by i would say 20. now um, make a group of them and rename this uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Where is group? Group and rename this lips. Let's just check before and after the lips. And I think they are looking good, but I'm just gonna lower this by 75, I would say. And I think we are done with the lips. Now we're gonna add some rosy cheeks. So I'm just gonna paint with a 10% brush opacity and let's just check before and after let's just zoom out before and after it's showing a little bit so i'm increasing the opacity by 50. let's just check before and after and yeah i think it's looking good but as you can see we have painted on the ear so i'm just gonna use a black brush here with a 100 percent low by 100 and remove this because we don't want to put uh, rosy cheek color into the ears let's just zoom in and add some more here because we have deleted it 
and check before and after and I think they are too much but I'm just gonna lower this by 20 or 22 I would say and I think that they are looking good now it's time for the whitened teeth so I'm just gonna zoom in and what with a 100% brush it's not that the teeth are like showing too much in this portrait so I'm just gonna give a little touch here and leave them because we don't want to touch them that much and as you can see they are looking good now lower this and check before and after this entire process and I think that this portrait is looking amazing now click on the smoky eyes hold a uh, shift keyboard and click on the background now merge all these layers let's just check before and after and I think it's looking good and now I'm just gonna liquefy the teeth inside the mouth so I'm just gonna create another duplicated background go to filter and go to liquefy now zoom in a little bit zoom in a little more and with a small brush I'm just gonna use the forward warp tool and we'll make these teeth more straight because they are were not looking that good let's just make a nice shape of them and i think that they are looking good check before and after with a preview and i think that they are looking good i'm just gonna liquefy this part of the and the rest, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit into the this shape. Click OK and check before and after. I think that this portrait is good enough. Now merge these two. And we're gonna add some glow, glow into the lips. So click play and zoom in with a 100% brush. Paint here on the lips. Uh, this does give a little glove into the lips let's just check uh, before and after zoom in zoom out sorry and as you can see it's kind of too much so i'm just gonna lower this by eight i would say and yeah eight is good now merge these layers too now zoom out and check before and after of this entire process and i think that we are good now add some soft lip just click play and wait until this all is done zoom in and with a 100% brush again uh, paint it here on the lips uh, this action will make the lips a little bit soft and give a bit more color as you can see check before and after now zoom out and I think that this is looking really nice but always lower the opacity by half percent I would say and I think that they're looking good now merge the layers and now it's time for sharpen I'm just gonna click play on the sharpen add some contrast let's just turn off these two and add some face contour click play now turn off this now it's time for the sharpen let's just zoom in and as you can see it's a black mask so I'm just gonna invert this by Control E and uh, sorry, as you can see we have um, a high texture, but I think that I would make this by 35. I would say. Let's just check before and after. Yeah, I think it's looking good. Let's just lift this on and check the contrast. And 100% is obviously too much. I'm just gonna go by. 25 I would say check before and after now with 25 is too much so I'm just gonna go by 15 and I think that this is good now turn on the face contour and this one is looking really amazing let's just turn down this a little bit check before and after and yeah I think it's looking good now I will merge these layers again so I will hold shift keyboard and click here merge layers into one chain before and after every time when you're working when you're retouching and I think that we are done with the retouching 
let's just check a before and after and i think that we have done something amazing here today and we didn't destroy the texture as you can see we have kept this uh, portrait as original as possible and i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and this is it for today guys and as i said hope you enjoyed this and i hope this tutorial will help you in your retouching skills uh, don't forget to check all the links down below don't forget to get the retouching actions that i'm using right now for this free raw file you can join my telegram channel and all the files that i will use on the video tutorials they are all in the telegram channel and don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already leave a comment down below drop some likes on the algorithm and don't forget to follow me on social media because I post everything I do there on the Instagram and I think this is it for today's and see you guys in the next one. Peace.